Hello everybody, my name is Zohir Choudhury and today we'll talk about Southern California's sources of water. So in order to understand the sources of water for Southern California, it is extremely important to understand the population distribution, the population that needs the water, and the availability of the water in the state. On the right side of the map in here, we can see the population distribution for the state. And of course, the cities of San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego, the three, mo uh, the three biggest cities contain most of the population. And the remaining population spills over into Sacramento, Fresno, and some of the coastal cities um, that are more or less populated. 80% uh, of the population lives in the main uh, urbanized areas. Another 10 to 15 percent, another 10 to 50 percent lives in the suburbs of some of these areas. So about 95 percent of the entire population is living in the southern areas of the state, southern coastal, and then in the central and um, coastal, central and slightly coastal area of the state, leaving most of the state with only 5 percent of the population. In terms of water availability, on the other hand, the southern part of the state is pretty dry. It's an arid area that doesn't get a lot of rainfall. On the northern side, on the other hand, it gets significant amount of rainfall as well as snowfall um, through more or less in the a lot of in the winter time, but also throughout the year um, um, gets significant amount of rainfall, especially in the coastal area in here. What this means is that there's a lot of water on the uh, on the northern side and there's not enough water on the southern side. So in order to meet the population's water need, it is extremely important to be able to reallocate this water from the northern area where is water rich to the areas where population live and needs, need the water to the southern and central area. Also, you know, it's important to understand the central area of California in here, it's agriculture rich and agriculture needs a lot of water. So a lot of water in the state also is used to provide food for the population which is grown in the southern in southern areas and in the uh, area in the central area and the southern area in here. Water supply for Southern California, as we mentioned, uh, it, um, it's coming from three sources: Colorado River uh, a, uh, area, Sacramento River Delta, as well as a snowpack melt in the Sierra Nevada Mountain. And here is the Colorado uh, River uh, watershed, here is the Sacramento uh, Delta area, and then the uh, Sierra Nevada Mountains in here where it gets a lot of snowfall. Only 10 to 20 percent of the water uh, used in Southern California is from local sources, mostly coming from rain and being re and replenishing the reservoirs and replenishing the uh, aquifers. The remaining 80 to 90 percent is imported from the sources, as I mentioned. Here uh, in the map, you can see the sources from for Los Angeles. Here, the sources for San Diego. The three sources that we just mentioned, uh, they are um, a 242-mile-long aqueduct was has been built to bring the water from Lake Havasu, which stores water from the Sacramento River area, and brings it to Southern California. Another 444-mile-long aqueduct, which is another California aqueduct, has been built to bring water from the Sacramento Delta area into the Southern California area. The Los Angeles aqueduct in here brings the snowpack in the Sierras and uh, brings, brings it into the California aqueduct, which in turn goes into the Los Angeles area. San Diego Water Distribution System taps into these various sources by connecting uh, the aqueduct with uh, the state aqueducts and through the first aqueduct in here and the second aqueduct in here as shown the water that is uh, uh, brought from all of these sources gets stored into uh, about 20 in 25 reservoirs and some of them are shown in here like Lake, Lake Hodges Reservoir near Escondido, Sutherland uh, Reservoir in here and then we have the El Capitan Reservoir and the Santee Reservoir, and we have the Murray, Lake Murray Reservoir and the Miramar Reservoir, as well as the Upper Otai and the Lower Otai Reservoir. All of these reservoirs essentially are man-made man uh, structures, um, man-made lakes that have been uh, built by damming uh, uh, a specific area of the geographic location in order to uh, bring the water and collect it uh, behind the dam and create an artificial lake as a result of that. 
water from all of these reservoirs is used up uh, in various areas in the in the city such as shown in here this is the service area for the miramar service area whereas in here you have the alvarado service area and here you have the ota service area so in terms of sources uh, of the water one big source of the water in the state is the snowpack that the state gets in the sierra nevada mountains here we can see the sierra nevada mountains with snowpacks uh, uh, during the winter time the Sierra Nevada snowpack water content has been declining over time. In fact, in here from 2005 to 2015, you can see a progressive decline of the water. Of course, 2011 had a significant amount of snowfall which caused uh, a rise of the water. But in subsequent year, all of the water, all of the snow um, uh, was used up and now uh, by 2015 record uh, uh, um, uh, level uh, record low level of uh, snow has been recorded by 2015. In fact, 2015 compares with the lowest uh, years. Uh, if we look uh, at the historical data in here, uh, 2017 and 2014 being the two previous low ones, and 2015 being the lowest one. Here also you can see 50 years of snowpack uh, um, snowpack. Uh, data uh, this is the average so uh, above average years you can see them in here and below average years so you can see them in here and you can see that um, the lowest 2015 is shown in here with 14 13 and 12 also being pretty low however the 2017 we got significant amount of snowfall as you can see in here but 2018 so far has been very very dry more or less dry the snowpack uh, information is provided in the website this is showing the 2017 uh, snowpack uh, information which was uh, very heavy snow and you can see in here that a lot of this um, uh, of the uh, Sierra Nevada's snow um, was replenished during this uh, um, very snowy year However, the state still is struggling with significant drought issues. On the other hand, the other source which is major is the Colorado River Basin, as shown in here. Colorado River system starts in the Rocky Mountains of Wyoming, and then the river passes through uh, the state of Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, Nevada, and barely borders California before going into Mexico. This watershed uh, in here it's home to 40 million Americans located in seven states. Um, and the water in this watershed provides the water for all of this million, uh, for all of these 40 million people. It is the fastest growing area in the U.S. in terms of population. However, in here, uh, the water supply and the demand over the years have been changing. In the past, water supply was much, much higher with respect to demand. Of course, the population was much lower in here. Over time, population started increasing, more population started moving in this area because of climate uh, and work and other uh, reasons. However, the water supply, as you can see, overall has shown a declining trend and uh, reaching levels that are one of the lowest um, uh, in, in history. Uh, and demand, on the other hand, has been rising and exceeding the supply uh, in this area. The water allocation from Colorado River is allocated as follows. 27% of the water is uh, California gets it, uh, and 23% Colorado, and uh, other states, as you can see, gets less and less and less, with Mexico getting only 9%. So U.S. overall gets 91%, Mexico gets about 9%. Most of the water uh, that uh, we get from the Colorado River is used for irrigation purposes to provide food for all of the population in here. So let's do a quick concept check. Which of the following is not a source of water for Southern California? E, they all are sources of water for Southern California. We get water from the Sierra Nevada, Sacramento, Colorado, as well as local rainfall and local groundwater aquifer. Another concept check, true, false. Currently, water supply from the Colorado River by far exceeds the water demand in the region. False. 
right now demand it's actually higher than supply that's all thank you